What's going on guys, it's Tom with Talks and Wrestling, back with my fifth video following Wrestlemania already. We're going to be looking at five must-see botches from Wrestlemania 35. We've got some good ones, we've got some crazy ones, and yeah, that's really I have to, all I have to say to preface this. Coming in at number five, we have Hulk Hogan doing what Hulk Hogan does best and messing up stadium names. We all remember the moment at WrestleMania 30 when he was out there with Rock and Steve Austin and he called the Superdome the Silverdome then corrected himself to a good pop from the crowd, very funny moment but surely you'd think he'd learn from his mistakes. Him and Alexa Bliss, uh, Alexa Bliss introduced him as she's the host, he came out and he referred to the MetLife Stadium as the MetLife Center. I know it's not like a major botch and it's a small mistake, like he messed up one word, but it's just the fact that he's done it before and this is his first time in WrestleMania since WrestleMania 31, his first time on the mic at WrestleMania since that mess up at WrestleMania 30 and he's messing up the stadium name again. Other than that, the moment itself was cool and Alexa Bliss and Hogan doing the poses together was pretty cute. Number 4, Batista takes a trip. Twitter went absolutely wild for this one. I love Batista. Batista is such... He's hilarious. He's amazing. I love him. And he's the only person I could really forgive for tripping into the ring. As Batista was entering the ring for his No Holds Bars match with Triple H, with Triple H's career on the line, he entered through the middle rope and stumbled and tripped up and fell onto his knees and immediately just got back up as if nothing happened. It was, it was funny. Number three, the world's biggest dance break. Oh god was this cringe, this was definitely not what WWE intended to do. R-Truth and Carmella, I love them, they're amazing, they came out and they tried to get the world's biggest dance break and to get everyone to stand up and dance. The music started playing and barely anyone was stood up dancing and it was kind of cringy to watch. I mean the placement of this on the card was very weird, I don't understand why it was so late into the show when everyone's going to be exhausted, maybe if they did it a bit earlier or opened the show with it. Or done it, if they did it right after Lesnar Rollins, the crowd would have been hyped and they would have done it. So I don't understand the reasoning why they would do it so late. But either way, this is very cringe. I think R Truth and Carmella's dance break gimmick is actually really good, but just this time around, didn't work out. Number two, Kofi Kingston's win is spoiled. Kofi Kingston's win basically got spoiled just before the match begun. I mean, there was a blanket over what appeared to be a title and everyone kind of guessed oh that's the old design to be presented to Kofi when he wins it and not only that but a shirt was put on WWEshop.com before the match even finished showing Kofi as the new champion and everyone on Twitter was posting it I saw Ryan Satin posted it and everyone got mad at Ryan Satin for posting it and spoiling it <laughs> but yeah lucky for me I didn't see it and I got to experience my reaction organically and get a genuine reaction from Kofi winning in one of the most awesome WrestleMania moments of all time. Big ups Kofi, big ups Brian, big ups New Day, big ups everyone involved in that match. And number one, we have the finish to the women's match. Now it's unknown if this was actually a botch or not. Like, you know, it, you couldn't, her shoulders weren't really down, but apparently I was seeing online that Becky was meant to tap out Charlotte. The finish itself was very, very abrupt and Becky and Rousey looked both genuinely shocked about it. And Rousey even did kick out once the three count was hit. So maybe she was meant to kick out earlier. Maybe her shoulders were up. The ref kept counting. It's very hard to tell. I can't tell if maybe she's just, they're just doing this to try continue the feud between Becky and Rousey. And to try to get a, a reason for Rousey to have a future match down the line. But nonetheless, this finish was very confusing. And I'm going to list that at number one just because of the fact that it was the main event. And if this was a botch... Of all places to do a botch, you do it in the main event. And not only the main event, it's the finish. But it could be worse. I mean, at least Becky, she was meant to win. And the botch was her winning. Like, imagine if it was Charlotte that Ronda Rousey didn't kick out to and got a three count when she was meant to win. That would have been tragic. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, smack that like button. I think that's probably going to be it for me from videos today. But saying I say that now, but knowing me, I'll probably upload at least one more. But... Um, as it is, WrestleMania is finished, and it basically means like, New Year's for WWE. I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the support you've shown me. Um, my channel is dead. Like, there's no denying that my channel is so dead. I can don't put in as much views as I as much views as I used to. But 
I can't help but love what I do. I feel blessed to be in the position that I'm in. And I have such an amazing fan base. So I just want to thank you guys all so much for sticking with me, watching the content, supporting me. Uh, I'm always going to be on YouTube. You know, this isn't going to be a full-time job with the views I get. Like, it's impossible to make it a full-time job. But I'll always stick on YouTube and upload videos. And I, I love what I do. So thank you guys so much for that. I'll see you guys soon. Um, thank you guys.